extremely focused, locked in. As you can see, the chemistry, but here we go. Skid Row, hard point overall. I mean, four and one for New York on the year, one and three for Boston, but you're starting on the good side if you are Boston Breach, so maybe a chance here early. Yeah, but uh, remember last time we kind of cast them in that situation, they go up like 100 to 140, and then things kind of come off the wheels uh, when you get to hard point four, but we'll see what they're able to do. What kind of advantage can they get early? Can they retain spawns for that P2? As you already see, like pushing through early, it's going to be Skies trying to get in position. Spawning guy, I think, on the opposite side will be Priesta. So very quickly, maybe a chance for Subliner to answer back in the P2. No, that's just it. Yeah, Skies is going to win that gunfight. And then on the, the hill, you're already going to see what just a seam. So Skies is going to watch Tunnel. If you can find some time here, that would be great for New York. But a, a huge double for a seam now just playing his life. But there is the trade. And Boston kind of know P2 already to New York. So they're going to try to find this scrap time. Not going their way right now. As Hydra's just going to contest this and try to waste their time. Yeah, no, that's uh, went about as good as it could for P2 if your subliners at least, yeah, 30 or so seconds for Breach. Now, with two dead, can you make a play? Seem able to pick up another. They start to collapse on this. You've got Kismet there trying to be the Bulldog, not able to do it. He's going to lose that fight. Skies suddenly left kind of on an island inside 1v1. the point. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one here. Skies, Snoopy. Snoopy takes one. Skies goes for the trade, able to do that. Kind of another one-on-one -on -one about to set up. Somebody does get underneath. Skies has got to get there. Try and make the play. He's on four in a row, Joe. Yeah, let's hit the more streaks. The timing was a little bit weird. Kiz is going to back on up. Priest had got through. Just Kiz was watching that cross, but they're able to stabilize. You can already see the white arrows in New York start to rotate over to P3. And I think that was an example of why this P2 is so hard to break. Like, you, more often than not, like, you, you get like three kills. You're pressuring the hard point. You're in a good spot, but the spawns are still close enough. You got enough bodies to throw at it. But now we look forward with 10 seconds remaining on this hard point. We get ready to look at our P3, see if they can swing it back. Skies is going to retain that 4-0 start and maybe work towards a cruise. What do you see on the map, Joe, though, as we get set up here for P3? I mean, you have some good presence here if you are New York, but he does get taken down, so you need a response here if you are Breach. Down 20. Solid setup here. You see a couple of players watching the back alley. Make sure they have apartments as soon as Snoopy spawns up. All right, they know that is the info, but here comes the per push. First blood was there for Hydra. It's a three on three now, but all the kills going the way of Breach. That is a clean four dead. And now you can really get into a great setup here if you are Breach. Yeah, I think just due to, you know, the early flipping spawns, like put even more pressure on a P3 to make a play. It's five in a row for a seam, though. He's on 10 and three chance for him to maybe earn a cruise but what an answer after maybe an early blunder here from breach you make the play to keep that lead and there's the streak you get the cruise and, you know i know you've been a big fan of him his personality you know his desire his gameplay for a long time great addition to this squad oh no doubt about it yeah you know he can go on these sort of streaks right it's just can he stay this consistent talk to him pregame says he's locked in for today and that streak now this lets you over invest here at this p4 if you are boston you can really grow this lead and then use that cruise to break P5, but we'll see what they opt to do. Here comes a break attempt. Nice shots from Asim. Good trade, great teamwork. You do have Sky still holding Godheady at the stairs, but there we go. Breach right back into it. Yeah, about to hold the gunny from Asim, but just able to snake away. You're still able to find a flurry of kills despite the fact that you get a double there from Sib. So in in fighting, it's Priesta and the boys. Priesta now close to a cruise as well as he's on five in a row. We'll see if he can pick that up, tuck the corner and looking to get a freebie. Maybe a couple of cruises you'll be able to work with. And as you mentioned, P5 is wide out in the open. They could be huge. There's another one. Him and Snoopy making plays inside the hard point. Yeah, that's it, right? You can over invest now, especially you have two crews. It looks like Slasher maybe to try to offer some position. Does find a pick. You see Sky spawns all the way out. That's going to be Hydra spawning all the way out. So this is not going to be a clean setup for New York the way they would want to. And Boston know this, so they're going to try to pick them apart, then use those cruises to break this P5. Maybe they don't even have to use a cruise right away. And, and you need to just push this lead, close this game out. How many? How often has Breach had an advantage in a hard point? How often have they been up and things have slipped away? It's collapsed. The series has fallen apart. They have got to go for the throat here. The jugular, get the dub, lock this out. And my God, after the cruise, nothing comes through. They get ripped off the map. And now it's the time for the rally here from New York Subline. I want to hear a breach can now deal as they throw the haymaker to the cops with Boston Breach. He's, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it.
You're going back to time. You're good. We should just hold around. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, hold yeah. on. Trying to help you right. top mid. You have mid? I have top mid, yeah. I'm holding back out. I'm holding back out there. He's already top mid. Top mid. Nice. I'm on shop around. I'm Just hold back out. Nice one, Let's see one. 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 Let's Close, close, weak, weak, weak. Hot to the pipe. 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 Hot this one, Tom. I thought the Kelly, this one, Tom. Nice. Give me another one. Take your time, guys. Son, this big time, man. I have a streak for new. I have a streak for new. Computer got me. Computer got me. He went to the right. I got one here. I got one here, bro. I need him. I need him. He's close right. He's close right. Nice. Nice. Keep making kills. Keep making kills. All right. That's last guy new. They're going to be up on him. I need a tunnel. I need a tunnel. Look at Sir Zerk. Don't don't cut tunnel. Just look Sir. Yeah, no, no. I'm trying to look at the tunnel. Okay, I'm looking at the tunnel. I'm looking at the tunnel. I'm looking at the tunnel. Whether it's the newcomer in a scene or the young bucket Snoopy, the Boston Breach boys are making plays, Joe. Yeah, they are. I mean, it's a little bit scary in that listening. They have to use both cruises, but they stabilize at P1. Here is some pressure, though. Has Snoopy trying to hang on? He finds three kills on rotation, then two more on the hill. So that is going to be a five spree. Trying to find another cruise. They have been farming. You see in the top left, Kiz, 8 and 19. Sib, 10 and 17. Put in the blender, led by a scene, but everybody else now stepping up for Breach. And this closeout ability has been something that has been lacking for this Breach team, but right now you're getting it done. A scene who has been a role player so often, the route man. He came into this team needing to drop nukes he's 27 and 12 building towards a five spree again he is hitting right now and taking over as you need 20 more points for an upset already in map one and subliners yet to win a map on land yeah and again i mean it, it was just such a good job by breach at that p1 to stabilize because it was getting a a little bit scary but they do a great job and they have just carried the momentum again winning p2 finding another cruise on Snoopy, he's probably going to spawn up, maybe a go for it to try to close this game out. I'm sure like me, you were thinking after the two streaks came out, like, uh-oh, here yeah. we go again. But no, a different team right now. Let it go. Pumped to be back on land and looking to make the plays here for the push and pinch. It seemed there to get a kill. Priesta follows it up, holding on desperately is subliners. Even though chance of winning this game so slim, maybe a rallying cry. Maybe it start to heat up a bit as you look forward in this series, but we're not done yet. Yeah, kind of what we talked about. Can you extend this game, right? Try to get the guns warmed up a little bit more to carry on to this series. But there is the break. Slasher Snoopy get on the point now. Five seconds away from winning map one. This is New York's map pick. We talked about getting the sub base such a big deal. And Breach going to do it right here. What do you know? Uh, you get... 42 cruise missiles on a map, you <laughs> might win it. Like, dude, they were just earning them in ways. But despite that, you know, we saw those moments where a team could do it. Like, I think back when we first joined the team, there was like the high rise control where he was like a five, five spray every time he spawned up. Like, we've seen his takeover ability. He does it here. 28 and 16 leads the way in damage outside of Hydra on the other side of it. Hydra, we know he's going to get his. He's going to get his numbers, but. It's all breach. No, it is. Uh, you know, they kind of, I mean, New York do a good job on the, the, the start, right? C controlling P2, doing your job, just controlling a lot of that time. But then just the, I mean, P3, P4, that's when the guns got hot, hot for Boston. They do such a good job on that first P3. The streaks start to come in. They can invest more at P4. Obviously, the double cruises don't turn into extra time. But then they kind of calm the game down. We go into the listening. Heard everybody kind of getting fired up. And then Snoopy on that rotation over to P2 was fantastic. No, no, that was unbelievable. I mean, it's funny because I was thinking, you know, as we're in the listening, I'm always trying to think what's going to be a storyline when we come out. What question am I asking you? What are we going to talk about? The whole time I'm thinking the scene, the scene, the scene. Like, He's making these plays. It's so fun to see how different a player, I guess, he's kind of banned what he's needed to be for this team, this lightning bolt, but then Snoopy just makes insane plays as we're about to come out of it. Just unbelievable there to make sure they hold on to the P2. And I, I think for me, it's just 
the resilience, like considering, you know, uh, the flip happens early, right? Like right away. And that's like, uh oh, like is this team gonna unravel? Then you use the two streaks. You're like, uh oh, is this gonna unravel? They keep on fighting. They win the map. That was impressive. No, it was, yeah. When they needed to stabilize the game, they did. Uh, so just props to this Boston Breach team. At times, that's that's where the top four, right, really, we just saw in the first match, right, from Ultra in, in Vegas. When there was a, a needed push or a needed hold, they found it. But this time, Breach was able to respond versus the subliners, make sure they held on to that lead. And again, just sort of these slow starts on land for New York. Now those thoughts start to creep back into their head. The good thing for them, we're going to an s &D. They're the number one search team in the league. But yes, pressure's on. Yeah, I think you also saw like the uh, you know, kind of like the lightning bolt on the map. Like also just off the map. Like when you think about like Slasher, um, I don't know. He's not going to be like hype and screaming most of the time. Priesta, same thing. Snoopy's still a young player. I don't know. He's got the compass quite yet to be yelling across stage. Uh, seems to be on his feet roaring. Like he has been crucial to this squad. I know maybe the improvements haven't been massive, but hell, it's a map one victory. You're ahead in this series. We'll see if they can push it. But no, you make a good point. Search has been unbelievable for New York since day one. It, it has. No, yeah, and again, these first three maps throughout major two qualifiers, you were undefeated. Uh, so 2-0 and in everything here if you are New York. You know, maybe if you're looking at stats throughout the year, the control may be a little bit dicey, but the control for New York throughout major two qualifiers, five and two, the two losses are in Karachi, right? We're not going to be playing there. We're on invasion. So a lot of good maps still left in this series for them. It's really interesting. Like, this is not usually the case. It's pretty rare when it's like, New York's the heavy favor, right? Obviously. Usually the underdog, it's like, you know, you're thinking two, three, five or something. Like this is one of those weird underdog scenarios where you're like, they need to win the response. And that's just not usually a thing because no. usually if you're in New York and a top team or a top team in general, it's not that often like search is like your card carry. I mean, I know there's been the improvements, the respawns are better, but still, I think it's a weird. Like we don't usually I mean, say that. Like, yeah, like FaZe has had that in the past. <laughs> yeah, at times. yeah, at times. It's just, just kind of unique. Uh, but I mean, for Boston, it's the game mode that's kind of the best is their hard points. Uh, what, they were five and five. They were one and four in the last five. So you dicey, ups, ups dicey. and downs, yeah. but it's kind of been around 50% in pretty much everything. It's just like, when are they going to start to excel in something? See, I, that's a great point, though, because like how often have we said over the years, you can be 50-50 in two modes if like one of them is your carry. You get, well, OK, if one of the modes you play twice, if a hard point or search usually, if you can get to like a 70%, 75%, win the 50-50, you might win an event or you might get the top three. I think you're exactly right. And like maybe the improvements haven't been there over the course of the qualifier, but like sometimes you just need a weekend. Yeah, you need a weekend. You just need to get hot. We talk to everybody. Scrims are going great, uh, no matter who you talk to. Yeah. Uh, so they're just trying to carry that in, into the match. And they, again, they've played New York online. They've played them on Skid Row. That was the first match in the series. So just learning from those mistakes and yeah, taking advantage of their setups. That's crazy. Like, I, yeah. Slasher's not listening to someone do their dishes, and the guy's an absolute demon. Locked it, <laughs> locked in on land. But uh, Subliners Breach, we're looking forward to uh, the map two here as we take a look at some of the S&D metrics. And that's yeah, sort of what I was talking about. Like, yeah, a lot of times the underdog is going to be through a search, but you don't think that's the venue to excess uh, if you are Breach, just due to the fact that they are completely outclassed. But at the same time, if they manage to win a search, it gets real crazy. No, it does. Uh, you know, I will say Terminal s and is the one map they've, they've have the most reps on, right? I feel like with Boston Breach since day one, we've seen them on this map. This is their pick. Yeah, yeah, for New York, though, I mean, they've kind of set the wave, I feel like. The last couple of times we've casted them online, sort of their retake ability. They will completely give up bomb sites. They will give up top SCs, allow you to plant that bomb. Boston has to be ready for that and kind of how they want to play those situations. No, nothing pisses you off more than when uh, just simple stuff. Like, you know, you're on offense, you have bomb down, you just have dumb deaths. Like, we've yeah. seen some today already. Uh, but, like, New York's been good at that usually. Like, not throwing away numbers, not having those bad deaths, not throwing stuff away. It's just the patience, the comms have been there. Um, it's been really, really fun to watch. But search can be a finicky bastard sometimes, Joe. Like, oh, yeah. you can be a great search team and... People catch up very quickly. We'll see uh, see if it continues. They haven't slowed down. No, it's a chess game, right? A, a VOD review is, is huge now in the CDL. Uh, teams are going to be trying to hard counter, especially Hydra and Kismet, right? They are number one and number two in major two qualifiers, leading the way. They are the engine of this team, finding those first bloods, being very quick to react, find the openings. We'll see what Boston has prepped. Yeah, and you know, you have uh, some S&D pedigree, certainly on this side of Boston. I mean, Slasher known as one of the better search and destroy players we've had, like, all time and in his moments when he's at peak it's unbelievable well yeah the SD KD leaders you just mentioned this sort of one in two 
over the course of major two qualifiers. Uh, that that's pretty uh, pretty phenomenal. No, and they're, and they're sub players, right? You see that opening duel percentage, 64% for Kismet, right? 53%. If they're both winning opening duels, you you have a really good chance to win the round. Uh, so yeah, they are leading the way. I mean, it's often you'll have two players like from a top team that are in the top five, top 10. Yeah, not one, not, two. Not one, two, no, that, that's unbelievable. That makes me think back to like, I don't know, like that. Uh, one of those early, like I opted teams like that first event where Dashi and what, like Dashi and TJ were yeah. like, just both had like a one, six in search. And we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's not often. No, and it's been great to see sort of Kismet get back to being himself after uh, major one and stage one kind of leading the way, but let's see. Boston Breach can be on attack first. We'll see what they opt to do. Yeah, I mean, Kiz's stats were weird after the first qualifier major. Like, he was, like, leading hardpoint time, like, like lowest engagements on the team at times. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> That's not what he wants at all. Things have improved, but uh, search a little bit different, obviously, and he has been absolutely unbelievable. Well, we'll see what Breach can do early on behind this offense. Kind of a solo hold on the A side. You mentioned how they like to work those retakes. Just going to be Kismet, wait by it. Yeah, let's say you really just have sort of a, a crossfire set up. It looks like Sky's number three, kind of watching below plane. Kismet just watching the cross. It's pretty much all crosses right now for yeah. New York. Yeah, like he's not really alone. He, he, yeah, <laughs> only body there, but plenty of uh, gunfire. Yeah, if they go into the plane, four people are going to be shooting yes, through the front yes. of wall bank. But here comes the switch up now. Nades starting to go out. Hydra, a bit of a sneaky position in the top window. And well, Sim going to find the first blood. He's going to find the first two. There is a trade on the Hydra, but man advantage over the subliners. They've been so good. When they've had advantage, they continue it here. Kismet gets the mitts out, takes out Slasher. Now Priest up. One versus three. Not going to happen. He gets dropped. Opening round win there to subliners. So far, so good. But uh, as you said, like even though there's been those S&D woes, Breach have they've had the reps and they've had some solid wins here. It's just whew, different story when you're playing against subliners. Yeah, clean round there. Just saw the crosses, saw the setup. Sib able to find the first two. You were down to 30 seconds. You just kind of had to go. Hoping their nade. Stuns found something, but not able to do so. As it's Kiz and Sib leading the way in round one. Solid opening defense. Now let's see what they uh, throw at him on offense. Priest is the only one really able to get a kill in that round for Breach. And at a time, it doesn't end up mattering too much. It's an opening kill quickly. It's Slasher with the first blood. You take Hydra out. I mean, that you get one of those engines, as you said, out of it early. Great. You got a great chance to win the round. This is when you got to close out. It's a clean first blood. You take out their superstar. You've got to put them on clamps. Yeah, looks like that stun miss. Slasher is down there, there. So he repositions. And a couple of times we've seen sort of Boston play on this map. What they've done is left Snoopy and playing by himself. He's not in it. Looks like they've just given it up. They'll allow a plant because they have the man advantage, opting to go for that retake. And there is the info from Snoopy's nade. Yeah, that takes a good 100 HP off of Kiz, so he's got to wait, hoping maybe he can get first shots in if a child comes through, but just good patience still. Out of breach. The other two players trying to rally across. Nice peek from Slasher. He's been lurking under plane the entire time. He finds another. It's been all Slasher. Snoopy in the mix now. Sib left by himself on an island. Picking him apart is breach. Good answer in round two. It all starts with Slasher. He gets a pick, what, five seconds into the round? And I love that they give up playing there, right? I mean, sometimes you, you've seen some people just try to gamble, maybe find one. But New York knows even if they get the bomb down, it is going to be tough to hold down, down a man. So they try to get a little bit aggressive out of the plane, but they get caught. So nice patience out of Slasher, out of Snoopy, able to find those kills. And yeah, equal, equal up the map. See if subliners switch up anything on the defense or kind of a similar crossfire setup. No success from Breach. The first opportunity. Well, we have the controller on screen. Now. That is dope. Yeah, I love it. You'll see the inputs from the player. So wherever we're hopping to, you got the scuff controller cam there. Uh, it's great. I've seen like I haven't seen it too much. Like we were talking like the esports side, but like from uh, people stream POVs, but it's been playing COD, playing Warzone. There's a lot of fans that like that. It's uh, it's awesome to see. So a new little feature here as we continue in on the action. Because I know a lot of you, you're watching this because you want to play like the pros, uh, even though most of you won't. I'm very sorry. And here's one of these setups, right? So this is just all an info play. Sib gonna try to maybe find one, but he's just gonna back down now. So this is gonna be a retake scenario here for subliners. Once that bomb goes down, there is some players starting to move on over. Skies is close, but it looks like it's going to be a double pinch. They're able to find Slasher. Bomb not planted yet. Snoopy's able to equal things out. Now to this three versus three. 
Snoopy waiting, lurking, ready to pounce. Like a tiger cat in the night. Finds one. Nice tags in the sim, but not quite able to finish it. Sim gets a kill. Skies follows it up. Priest again. Left by his lonesome. Can he make the play? 18 seconds to go. Not going to happen. Some opportunities there. Snoopy just couldn't quite finish the kill, and things kind of unravel at that point. Yeah, in Boston, I mean, Bomb was down. I think bottom Messi's uh, or up top three. It seemed trying to get a little bit aggressive. Puts Bomb into a tough spot. You have 20 seconds left. But again, an immediate response from New York for that first blood. As soon as the info is there from Berger, they see two or three bodies. Okay, what is the play? Let's isolate the one player on the flank, and that was Slasher. Well, now that you've seen, I guess we can talk about the next time. We see Breach on offense. Maybe there's any changes they can make. But for now, let's focus on the offense here from subliners. 2-2 Two -two split defensively from Breach. You've got a three-man hit up towards this B-bomb site. Hydra, who number two in overall KD. So will start 0-3, but you still got the round advantage, and uh, that's the advantage of having a strong search team. Yeah, I thought they were going to run through that smoke. It looked like a nade hit, but they decide to back on down, and a seam watching the cross is going to find a first blood. So... It looked like it was just going to be a very quick B hit from New York, but something backs them off as maybe they were just trying to throw a fake wrap back to A, but nobody dies from Boston, and they find the first blood. Make it the second. It has been all defense here on Terminal so far. Yes, but, like, I guess it feels like, at least when you're getting ready to execute, if you're breached, that's when you're starting to lose people. Like, you're getting picked up your subliners before the execute's really even started. Yeah. Like, it's been great defense from breach, but we'll see. If Skies can't make any kind of plays, the team gets another one. Skies, some well. lovely shots. And he is hitting right now. Two in a row, working on the ace. 20 seconds to go. Tag from down low, two half HP. Still hunting, still lurking. He's got a one-on-one -on -one early. Oh, it looks like Slasher just able to get away. Priest now above him hallway. And Slasher just buying time. I got nervous because you saw the rival in Skies' hands. He was going to just back on down. But now they check the bomb. Nobody on it. And well, Slasher able to win it. The first bloods, they're rolling so far for Breach. We'll see if they can keep it going. I, it just feels like Breach, like one of these offenses, like they've had their chances. Like oh, the first round, Sib gets two and it kind of falls apart. But the next round, you really have a chance to maybe make a play, get an offensive round victory. But as you said, all defense so far. Let's see if they change. Well, what's Anything interesting, it's been, it's been no bomb plants, right? It's been either early picks or maybe you get near a bomb if you are Boston. You don't opt to plan it. And the XQ just falls apart. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just becomes a mess over by B, basically. It looks like they want to get back to it, though. Trying to work towards B. Up through Book quickly is Slasher. Oh, with a nade. With a nade. It's sort of a combo there. So the shots come in. Then they're able to connect. But it looks like Hydra's through. Hydra's hallway right now. Does he give the call out to a seam? No. So Hydra's going to be here for the trade. But he gets a teammate killed. So now it's a two on three. He got a chance to strike first offensively. Slasher, s &D, superstar when he is in his bag, and he is continuing now up to six kills in this one. Priest has got the angle. Kismet's beaming, though. Suddenly, they it's all Slasher on is. Slasher because Kiz makes the play, and this is one of those rounds, man. You'd love to ice this. Can Slasher get it done? Can Kiz th come through clutch? And the one versus three. He gets eyes on him. Damage in. And the Bulldog. Takes the round, and that is a frustrating one for Breach. Yeah, I mean, he just comes up at season. and he, he maybe gets a call out from a teammate that one's prone, able to catch the first one as we take a look at this replay. Yeah, I think he just gets a calm. There's one already there. So he guns Priest ready for the next gunfight. He's got like seven HP, and well, they had the intel on where Slasher was in spawn watch and flank, so he just backs on down, repositions, 1v3 for Kiz. I mean, he never stopped shooting. <laughs> that's a, that's what, not as easy as it gets. a great play, but like just right into his crosshair. Just needs a little bit of a snap, and he's able to do it. Kiz, I mean, that might be the play that decides this map too. We'll see. Because you were doing so much work if you were Slasher. Just can't come up clutch in the 1v1. Still leading the way with six. Kids right behind him. You haven't had much success with your sub on offense, but this is the first round you've made it with four people to this point. And this has been the two-man setup, sort of Slasher and Snoopy trying to find crossfires, find timings. Just a question of when to a seam and Priest them. Maybe you want to give up B, start to work the pinch. Is that going to happen? 
Here comes the execute, slashing with another first blood in the round. While this is going on, look at the middle of the hallway. It looks like Hydra has an idea that there's one here. Does he know there's a second? He does not. So the buzzy, buddy system paying off as Slasher finds his second in the round. And that's fantastic, because those are where you can't lose somebody after you get that first blood. Slasher, three in the round. A little pissed off. Yeah, no, I think they, that's like a revenge round there. Hard in the paint, takes three down on the defuse. He should be up to nine now, just having a monster map, but as big as Slasher was obviously in the round, just how how often is there not a trade in that situation? Like, <laughs> the fact that you have a second body there, Hydra gets caught before he can dip away and book. Again, just all defense so far, so both of our teams, kind of what we talked about, reviewed, prepped, how they wanted to go, go against each other in this map, and... Slasher's on pace for... 18 or something close to it. <laughs> See who's going to find the opening, the adjustments throughout this map. Thanos looking to keep it going. If you get the first look, he closed it out this time on offense, but you got to back up. Nate hits, not too much damage. Still 130 here if you're a CMC. You go to Chow out. The information's there. There's two. Those you back down if you're a subliner. Kids looks to pop. He's making plays. The rival is hitting, and that's where it's a shoddy up close. Slasher versus Kids continues. Again, just as soon as there is info on where this team is going, there is an immediate response. Whoa! But they all line up almost. You had Snoopy. Almost fine three, able to take down two. Kids was still in the cockpit. That got scary. Yeah, it sure did. It's getting wild. Oh, and the person who finds a kill is Skies. With a wall bang, one bullet I did not through. think that's who killed him. I was no. in the moment. That, that's what, where I thought it came from, Skies. Maybe bailing him out of a scary moment, but uh, yeah, massive numbers there if you were subliners. But it's been Slasher. It has been Kids. Seven for Kids. Nine for Slasher. You've got, what, three or four first bloods if you're a slasher as well. He's done it defensively so many times. Can he do it again? Spreading it out on offense if you are subliners. Up around. It's run slasher's POV as he's been getting info, he's been hitting shots, and he has been making plays. Yeah, you kind of have info on both sides here, right? Over towards Burger, there's some players. And it looks like maybe they're going to try to find and isolate Sib on the pinch. As Priest and Asim start to work this, and there we go, another first blood as Asim able to get burger control. Here's the next Chal. He was winning a lot in map one, able to back him down. On the other side of the map, Hydra, he finds the opening. This is what he does so well. And this is that situation where last time you had two people, you were able to trade, you keep numbers. This time you can't. You let Hydra start to get going. He started at 0-3, now up to 3-7. and 7. The complete opposite of that here is Kiz, though. He's got one underneath and still lurking. Goes, catch him with a nade in hand. Snoopy's going to drop. The nade goes up, maybe hits his teammate, but they're still here and waiting. Bomb planted. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, Snoopy was the one man, right? But uh, maybe he hears him start to hold that nade, start to cook it. Finally, a bomb planted, a man advantage for an attacking team. Hydra under the stairs. There is the trade, but all of a sudden, we're to a 1v1, and Sky's able to win it to give them the two-round advantage. It just had, again, it's like back to back it rounds where it happens so, so fast, and then I'm like, okay, this guy's got to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Round done. But my God. It like, slows down for a moment and then just hits. That's one of those rounds, yeah, you get the first blood, and then the next two kills go the way of subliners. There's no trade, nothing that happens. It's a, it's a pick from Hydra, then Snoopy gets caught by Kiz. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the kids clutch and that scenario you just broke down. That's the difference right now in having a 5-3 lead. Just little moments, and those little moments are what separate a good search team from a great one. I don't know, they call it breach and a good search if you know what I mean. This time, uh, they take out everybody, including a seam, but you'll go two for one. You'll take a 3v2 advantage. Yeah, not opting to plant right away. Don't want to get caught on the bomb. And it looks like Stib trying to find the info. He does get caught. Priest with them nice shots. And while well, he snaps on to the second. So Breach, they pick up the pace. They go for a very fast round. Top SGs. And well, they're able to find an offensive win. He had to get one eventually if you're going to bring this back. Fantastic stuff from Priesta. Almost 1,600 damage. In this one, it's six and five. And... You're on match point. You've got to rip off three straight if you are breach. For the most part, 
been solid on defense. Can you push this to around 11 now? You go up 2-0. I think you're starting to sweat if you are subliders as they're still looking for that first map win on land. And I like this. What they're trying to do here is maybe bait them into that same sort of setup that you got from a semen free step, but leave Hydra there. Look at him, number four. If they get aggressive burger side, he's going to try to find a kill, and they bait Snoopy on the other side. So just showing some presence there. And well, there is the bait from Skies and Kiz. Yeah, Snoopy's maybe thinking he has a freebie. That is not the case. Now can you rally? Man down if you're Breach. Not been able to do it yet. The people pulling it back throughout the course of this map too has been subliners. Slasher, Asim, the two left up in the two versus three. Slasher on double digits, looking to be the hero. Can they clutch up? You still gotta get this bomb down. Yeah, I could come down to this 1v1 right here. Does he guess the right corner? No. Oh. But he stops shooting. He runs oh, out no. of ammo with the rival. Actually, he still had eight bullets left. Trying to find that player. Slasher does get caught. Is there some help not happening? New York tie up the series. Woo! They get that victory. They get that win. It's, uh, I mean, it's not the prettiest at times. Like, you're battling there if you were breaching against the best search team maybe in the game. But it starts with, I mean, Kiss is 1v3. That, that, that's one. You don't let that happen, who the hell knows how this goes. Um, but that play kind of throws this thing the other way. No, it was a fun search and just the way both teams were kind of attacking it early, right? It's 3-3, all defense and the adjustments, some clutches start to come on through. Uh, even in that last round, just sort of the trap set there from by New York on one side of the map and well, it catches Snoopy. And then, I mean, Hydra's in that corner for 30, 40 seconds, pops out Priest is on the B bomb. So just great search and destroy from New York. Now, phenomenal job. I mean, on the other side of it, you have a hell of a map there. If your slashers can't get, well, get the win, you got to think even you get back to the last land, like Slasher has some insane stats. They didn't play yep. a whole lot of Call of Duty, but uh, some wild stats, and he's trying to continue that here. But the good thing now is, like, I, you knew the search was going to be tough. You knew they were going to be real, real tough here against subliners. You were at least able to get that map on win, so you're sitting at 1-1. One, one. As we now look forward to the rest of the series, we got Invasion Control, Sub Base, Hardpoint, Invasion Search and Destroy if needed. But so far, it's kind of overall thoughts. How you feel on? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're happy if you're Boston, right? You're going to get to that that middle of the series, three and four, right? I think Sub Base is, is an opportunity for them to, to win both hard points in this. It does get scary though if you go map five. Uh, you're going five or something. Yeah, right? you don't have many wins there if you are Boston Breach. Now again. A, a lot of prep, a lot of changes go into it, but New York in their Search and Destroy. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, yeah, no, it certainly is. But uh, those of you at home and in the venue, thank you for watching. We're having a blast. We're continuing on here for Thursday. We got four days of Call of Duty action. Best players in the world continue to battle it out for pride. And a giant duffel bag of cash. As Breach looked to answer back after a disappointing Major 1. Subliners trying to bring it back after a disappointing Major 1. We're tied up 1-1. One, one. We're getting ready for a map three. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Cause I'm back in my zone now Back in my zone now All in can't beat me up Cause I'm back in my zone now Back in my zone now
Hello and welcome back. We hope you had a very sexy break. I uh, got a snack, looked in the mirror, just admired uh, that beauty and perfection staring back at you as we get ready to go. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying, Joe. I'm just excited to be you here. You were running. You, you know, were running. I You're did. I did. Um, yeah, you know, been hitting the Peloton. Operation Less Fat continues. You look great. Thanks, man. Yeah. You, look, you look good, too. Thank but you. Uh, now we get ready now for the invasion. Uh, talk me through this one for both teams. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, I think Boston, you played it a lot throughout the qualifiers, two and three. Um, your defense has been fantastic. Nine and one in those rounds. On attack, though, you've only averaged 2.5 ticks. So you barely even capture a point per round. On the other side for New York, uh, undefeated on this map, 2-0 and throughout major two qualifiers where both sides, yeah, they, they almost lead the lead with like 4.7 ticks, I think, on average. So... I'm we'll gonna, see if uh, Boston can win it. I'm going to make up a stat, but 87.5% uh, of the time that Joe and I cast Invasion Control, uh, it is all defense, all defense, all defense, all defense for four rounds, and then round five is suddenly some weird shit where someone goes nuts on offense and they win. That's, that's true. That's basically all the time for us. Yeah, I think it's 87.5. I think yes, you're right. Yes, So uh, that's what you should probably expect here in this one, but no. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it, this is this is big in this sense. Uh, we know map four, you're feeling okay about Breach. Uh, one map, they might have an advantage. Everything else is going to be an upset really along the way if you're going to be able to get it done. Um, subliners, you know, you, you struggled across your respawns for the most part throughout uh, the early parts of this title, but bit by bit you improved. Now, are you on the level of maybe your, your, your optic, your phase, your ultra when you talk about respawns? I don't know if we're convinced yet because it's been a short period here, about of a month where the improvements have come, but improvements nonetheless no just that yeah you see right there the stats you had five and two throughout major two qualifiers but those two losses are on karachi we're not playing karachi we're playing invasion control yep. where they are two and oh so should be a battle again between both of these teams but if anything you like map number one i mean the boston breach is shooting well they cooled down a bit maybe new york warmed up throughout that map too a little bit more we get back into the respawns as we get deeper into this series. I mean, uh, for me, this weekend, man, just who's going to be that, that Cinderella story, that upset? The top four seems so solidified, but is somebody going to bomb out? Who might be the New York of this major? Time will tell, but Breach looking to play spoilers early if they can. Already one map upset. Can they find more? Is Hydra is out and lurking. You can make the map his playground. Yeah, he's able to find one, make sure there's nothing over towards A. We know Slasher likes to be that player, that sort of transition guy, kind of lurking on that A street at times for Boston. You already see what Skies is already top, top palace, but he does get cut down while his teammates are starting to capture. But Decap, this B point. They're able to find one player. There's still one more here in Snoopy. Snoopy so able to get the one, but the trade there pretty efficiently. Skies, kill, though. I They're gonna go. nice shots, but uh, he's going to drop you. You get the kill back, say one more back, Raj. Your number's there for a moment. Through the mid-cut, you're able to get those shots if you are Hydra, so you lose a man. You try to get lost in the back if you are a seam, and uh, Skies sort of dances on his skull. Yeah, no, I thought they were going to try to get to that point, but I didn't realize Hydra was already mid-tank cutting that off. thought they were going to get through before yeah, that. Yeah, Priest got through, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one gets through. Maybe I thought trying to get on that point, but does not happen. So, so far, so good. And just the attack for a Boston Breach has been struggling on this map, and you can see why. She's not able to get even that B point done. Have Kismet in good position. Hydra Sky's putting shots in. Hydra hasn't died. He is 4-0. and oh. Yeah, I mean, your attack's looking more like a... Our defense right now. <laughs> You're basically turtle up palace side trying to get out. You got 10 seconds to punch a ticket towards this B point. We'll see if they're able to do it. Not looking good. The big mitts out from Kiz again. I thought he was going to drop another getting his Tyson on, but uh, that'll stall for now. Time will dwindle. You, uh, there was a moment, a moment maybe. One. A made up moment. When, 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 when Skies died, like back tank, like maybe an opportunity to get on A. Outside of that, you just got clobbered. 
And then you have two five streaks you're carrying into this. So how, how bad do you want to try to play for these, right? We saw this in map one. What, three cruises out of Boston Breach? A chance here for subliners three. to get two? Was it? It was like five, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think it was just three. Oh, I said 42, which I made up. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was sounds, more. It was close to that. I, I thought mean. it was more than three, honestly. Like, hey, we're, they were hitting, but yeah. So you can get a little revenge on the streak side. As you said, two five streaks. Skies, Hydra. Can they get another Hydra yet to die? The French sensation. Looking to keep it going. There it is. Six through. Can he get Skies number six as well? He does. So that just works. a one two punch. That works. Nice little bait and switch. I don't know if it's on purpose, might not be, but it works out as you said. And that is going to be a clean four dead. So already some progress towards B. And they are working up inside our rugs. Hydra just peeking the wrong corner. I see finally takes him down. But a great opening here for the subliners. Yeah, and now with those two streaks, you know, if uh, you efficiently get B, you maybe have a moment to throw one into the fray here, get A. You take an offense, you're up 2-0, you're likely closing out an invasion. If you can do that, your win rate, your chances go up so much if you can take that 2-0 edge. I mean, Slasher's just going to kill throughout this map. That's how one-sided. Now he is 0-5. He has double digits. You have a 10 spree for Skies. He's finally taken down. Hydra still finding kills. And you only had one player on B, so that just goes up so slowly. You still have two minutes. You're down to 20 lives if you are Breach. You need map control. And you have to get them in a trap, but you're already on A. One body on there just for a moment. First tick not going to come through. One streak coming in right as you lose two players. You answer back with two, which like kind of keeps a little map position for you. The fact yeah. that you don't have to work through maybe B Street all over again. It's not going to lead to progress on A, but it keeps you in this round. You still have two minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's just it, right? I mean, you were trying to combine it with that player alive on A. It doesn't happen, but at least you find two kills. Slasher is finally on the board. He finds his first, but they just get sniffed out. And now Hydra on the eight point. This is so one-sided. That is all four dead for Boston and Breach. that's only possible because you got two with the streak and still held some mid-nap position. You now got three pushed up. You are so deep by garage, trying to win some crazy fights if you're Breach. You get one off if you're Snoopy. Halfway to the second bit of progress. You clear it outside of Sib, who's still fighting. Finally, the wall bank comes in. He will drop. So you survive for a moment. But I mean, the fact that, I, I mean, your advantage just thinking about around five is insane if you're going to get a defense. Uh, well, if they're going to survive this round, yeah, with yeah, how true, much true. time they've had to work with, still 90 seconds, oh, you well, have 10 lives remaining. If you are breached, they had players on A that pauses the clock. So th this has been great for New York to set up for the win. Yeah, and that's not that often lives is the scenario on invasion, but uh, it might end up being the case. 12 this, versus nine, some clutch kills there from breach to sort of stay in that battle of attrition if it's going to come down to live 60 seconds now to go a seam quick peek easy gun fight win the read there for sib we'll see you later good night sir hydra holds the cross though finally able to slow down a seam now They're the second going streak it. gonna come in you'll have used both if you can get a kill the lives continue to dwindle it's not able to hit a team kill comes in at the same time things start to unravel here for subliners you've thrown everything into this still this feels like the longest round ever, as there's still 35 to go. Yeah, I mean, the only thing for New York is at least the crews get you map control, right? So you're past that 50 yard line. Skies just trying to find the wall bay on a preset, just back and forth, going for that challenge. There it is. Skies now on the point, pausing the clock. There's the trades. No more respawns remaining, and there we go, all four dead. So it's gonna come down to Priesta and a seam. They go all in, does New York, and well, I think it's gonna pay off. You just had so much time, so many streaks. You bleed them dry, you get it done through the kills. And that's, I mean, that's where like, listen, um, maybe the streaks didn't lead to a round win like, through the objective, but when it comes down, it's like a 7v2, and you, you got that double from Hydra. I mean, <laughs> it ends up being pretty big just in the overall life count. And the fact that, I mean, you know how, how different that number looks if you're battling out from Palace all over again. You have to win step one. The fact that they are able to stay mid-map, give themselves easier gunfights from power positions, they're able to keep that edge. Yeah, I mean, that was the key of the second one as well. It's really just, all right, don't peek us, let us get out of Palace. Uh, so they're yeah, able yeah. to do that. Gives them mid-map control, doesn't turn into a kill. Turns into a team kill from an aid, but still allows them to, to work up the map. And now up 2-0. Well. Yeah, sometimes not a kill, just taking everyone's guns out of the equation. <laughs> also effective in a first-person shooter. But just one more round is needed. The offensive woes from Breach. Um, 
there's going to be a thesis written on it. They have not found any success offensively at all throughout the course of this year or this series. They got to muster up something now because they're going to need a lot of it. Yeah, I see him trying to work something over towards this A point. Uh, Hydra is 16 and 3. He's only died three times throughout this map. He's on another five spree. Boston finally going to be able to get to the B point. For a moment was Prisa, but he's playing for some map control, but he's going to get hunted down by Kiz. Here comes the gunfight through the staircase. Not easy. Nope. Prisa able to win it, and that's a big one. So allows his teammates to get past that tank and onto the point. Yeah, this gunfight's not a great time. Sib some tags, able to recenter. Nice job there from Sib to win that one as it got away from him for a moment. And look, you've got Hydra. He's just literally hunting them down in palace. He's running laps in their spawn. Yeah, I mean, they're still trying to find him. Two players still trying to find him. Now he's going to show. Not able to find a kill. I think runs out of ammo, still trying to find it. But this has been a dominant control. Can they win this one? Maybe without giving up B, it's going to be difficult. Maybe they just give this up and play safe towards A. Yeah, it's just the, the difference in how long the rounds feel versus when, you know, you've got an objective presence so many times throughout the course of the game, like Subliners did last one. Like, and when you've had none, it just feels so different. But maybe you get the extension you do. You got a minute 20 to go. Lives, you're still OK. Popping up as a seam. Can he be the playmaker for him? He was in that map one. Prisa gets hit by a stun, so he's going to have to slow down for now. You've got three people working it to see him will drop two as a lone guy by A, and you got to kind of start over here for a moment, but you still have two people fighting. Yeah, I see him just for the gunfight on a Kiz. Kiz was a street. He, he challenges one on one, but you still have some presence here. Snoopy and a seam. Prisa, all go. five there kills. So maybe the, here is the opening, but it looks like New York trying to hunt down Prisa, and that does happen. So now it's all about this cross. It's going to be Slasher deep from a street. Trying to help out Prisa or Snoopy on the point. He's able to find one. Is there a trade inbound? No, it's Hydra. He's able to take down two, snaps onto a third. Yeah, I see, but he gets two, then three throughout the course of that. He's on a four spray. I thought he was making the plays, but it's Hydra that answers. And, well, two kills sometimes more valuable than three when you're on defense. Enough of a presence on the objective to actually get this down to the kill advantage. And they're not really all that close to it, but it's desperation time now. You got a world star. You got to win some wild fights if you are Boston Breach and try to get near this. I see him again with the double, making the play, going big. The map one hero looking to go huge with Snoopy can't quite get across. Three people collapsing now. Lone on it is Skies. Just trying to get through Skies. Just finessing from behind. Kill? It's unbelievable. There's just a vending machine. It acts as a riot shield there for Skies, and that's map three. How in the world does he find that kill? I mean, the stuns and the nades come through to help him out. And he's just like bunny hopping and shooting over the top. Just buys oh. enough time for his teammates to get into a spot to help him out, get a crossfire in. You just see skies go down, but Kismet was there, Hydra now there. Gets a little bit scary, a little dicey in that round, but the rest of it was all New York, because we don't see 3 O's often on invasion control, but they do it here. Man, it's just the ability to play your life at the end there. Unbelievable from Skies, but what a map from Hydra. Just dominant stuff. I mean, he isn't dying the first round, able to earn a streak, just putting on an absolute clinic. I mean, this is one obviously you're heavily favored if you are New York, but they come in and lay down the hammer. Yeah, I mean, their control, yeah, outside of Karachi, undefeated. So they keep that up here. And what a bounce back just after the map one, just mentally staying locked in. It was a very long search and destroy, just back and forth battle, but now it feels like the momentum back on their side. Yeah, and so, I mean, Slasher literally had more kills in the search than the control, and, yeah. which is not a very common statistic. No, it is not. Ten in the search, eight in the control. Um, I mean, that's sort of like the beautiful thing about our esport at times, though. Um, I mean, I know some downsides to it, too, but the fact that we have, like, such varying modes and, like, you'll be hot in the map one, you yeah, so that little bit in map two, you're back to a respawn, and got to get it going again. And even though he was... Uh, winning some crazy fights in the map too. It didn't really lead to a lot of success here for him. No, I mean, just early in this round one where you, you saw Boston trying to set up these, these eight plays. They were shut down and then you were just in the spawn trap. He gave up two five sprees, which turned into a double cruise for New York to carry into round two. And then they use those cruises. They aren't the most effective on the objective, but it gives them a lot of map control, finds a couple of kills. So much time where it comes down to the lives for New York. A dominant round on offense. But now as we start to think forward in this series, what uh, the map four 
one that you, you think if you are Boston Breach, like that is your, your chance to strike. That is your hard point pick. That is, uh, you know, you don't have a ton of a ton of great maps just based on how the season's been going, but this is one of them. Yeah, I mean, you kind of heard Ali talk about it on the desk. If you get to the sub base, like maybe a chance here. Uh, New York's played it four times throughout the qualifiers. It's not a bad map. It's just 50% two and two. So it's not bad. It's not great for them. Breach played it one time. They're one and oh. So not a ton to work off of, but yeah, this is your map pick, which you it's your map win. pick. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sometimes like as much as the stats overall matter, you know, we don't have all the data for their scrims. And usually it's just, you know, this is their map pick. They're feeling confident. That's the one they want to go to. That's the one you got to take and then maybe get to a map five. Now, granted, you are then, what, 0-5, oh I think it is, if you're reaching the map five. So does it bode well for them right now? No, it does not. But map five sometimes, stats go out the window. The map two search was close. Granted, it was their pick, but we'll see. You got to get there first, though. Yeah, you do. So we'll see if they can win two respawns, two hard points against this subliners team. But it just feels like after uh, map one, Saul just right there. They start to come alive a little bit more and really take over. No, no, yeah, as much as like the map one, like you came out hot if you're breached, you're winning those gunfights, you're getting hot, the playmaking abilities there, the streaks, it's the exact opposite, like you said. Now, can you rebound? Because you gotta get slammed. It's like when you're getting slammed in the control too, it's just, <laughs> it's tough like to keep the gun hots because you're just getting caught sprinting at times, taking difficult gunfights, like scrambling because you're running out of time. I don't know what you're taking into this one, but the good thing is if you're breach, you got a lot of a lot of clutch players, a lot of people with a ton of experience. You've seen and done it all. Yeah, I mean, you know, we saw in the map three stats, uh, you know, Asim kept it up. I think he had like 4,200 damage. It was really the other three who had like 2,000 at 2,500. So you need everyone else to step up here in a map like sub base where one gunfight, one 1v1 can really change the spawns and sort of the landscape of the map. This is where you have to focus on those power positions and those key gunfights really come into play. Well, we're getting ready to see some of those key gunfights as we're loading up for this map four. Breach, subliners continue. Subliners just looking to try and shake off that tough major one. They walked out with no series victories. They were the disappointment of that. You're the world chance coming in, all the hype around them, and now you're just trying to build that back up, show what you're capable of, remind people you are world champions. Looking to close it out here. And you know, it's tough too, it's like, you lose this series and you're down to a very tough match in losers round one versus Rocker. Obviously, I know they had a, a rough split online, but yeah, he's still, so many he's still five losses. Though. Yeah, it's, it's just not scary. it's not an easy matchup at all. Yeah, it's like what four or five like, map five losses. Like, yeah, they're still a threat. Just getting to that map five is part of uh, part of the battle. Yeah, some early time here for subliners. As they're able to uh, get on that point, it seemed though able to bounce on back some gunfights going down as New York just trying to make sure they have the spawns here for P2. It looks like Priest are already able to work up towards the side of P2. So uh, some nice presence middle of the map here for Boston. Maybe a chance to break on through. Hydra almost gets caught not finding that kill. And there we go. Three in the feed. Make it all four for Boston. They do just that, but some close spawns come in. They're not going to be ready for this as you can tell by Snoopy's point of view. You just think you got the four down. You've got everything you want. Everyone starts going hunting outside the map and the Tommy, the spawn comes in close backside and things fall apart. I mean, that is like, it's like you had such an unlucky little situation there with Hydra. It's like about to be like two or three kills. He doesn't finish one and things get ugly and then you get blessed a bit. Yeah, well now, I mean, it doesn't even matter, right? There we go, Boston, a great job. Nice resilience. That's a nice bounce back, yeah. Yeah, to find those kills. Now you are on the point. So New York, maybe you go after this one more time. You're going to see probably Sib spawn up, just control top snow. And that rotation over towards P3. Let his teammates just get nasty, get aggressive on this point, and that is the play call. Because now you can see those deep sub spawns there for Boston Breach, and they're just going to have to rotate. Oh, yeah, you're putting on your hiking boots on because you've got a mission towards the next hard point. Only threat here for that opening fight will be a seam. He takes that. They're going to push the roll. One's wrapping the whole way around. So the route man is going to be Priest this time. Taking the deep round. He's able to win that. He's able to get the kill. So nobody going to be on time in the hard point. Where's the spawn come in? Oh, Four sub buyers. It comes in close. You spawn right in the back. So more work to do here if you're Priest. Uh, and you yeah, headshots from a rival. Liai. Yeah, I mean, he's still 8 HP, so nice shots from Priest. I actually thought that just based on the timings and where Priest was, maybe he was going to get the spawn for his teammate, but that doesn't happen. So Hydra and Kiz spawn up, and well, you still have pressure here, though, if you are Boston. I mean, 
it's similar to like last time. It's like, all right, tough situation. We thought we made the play. It fell apart. We got to have the resilience to break back in. This time you do a good job if you're subliners. You get that spawn. You take advantage of it. You start to push this lead out a bit again, but it's still a tight one. 20-point advantage. Hydra's rival continues to demolish, but it seems gets the angle for the trade. The same set for Kiz. He's on five in a row and finessing for now because he wants to earn that cruise. Yeah, wants to find that nice. cruise, and there we go. We're able to find it now if you can just bounce back. P3 and P4, that's when this game could get ugly quickly. You see number five, Snoopy, he spawns out. Slasher is able to find a kill and stabilize, but there we go. Asim is caught. Sim finds another one based on the callout. So, subliners do a good job, but there's those spawns. And once again, Boston, just in these crazy moments, able to find all the key kills. Yeah, no, this has been an interesting one early going. Not a ton of points really for either team. A couple like kind of crazy questionable spawns, but when they've had a battle back, they're able to do it. These guys are fighting. Maybe battling for a lead change here. Still 20 seconds left up, and Priest and Snoopy able to hit shots through on the crossfire. Once again, kind of the lead man that's looking to maybe take the off route, find an angle, uh, angle win his one-on-one -on -one is Priesta. He's been the one early on rotation time and time again, and he continues to win fights. Yeah, putting shots in on Kiz as well, but allowing his teammates to work up that P2 window, get some angles onto this P5. You won't have anyone early on on the hill, and that's just, yeah, due to Priesta. They wanted New York, someone to get across towards P2. It looks like Kiz will be there, but immediately shut down. No, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on Priest. He's to continue to be that guy that's maybe making the play. It hasn't always worked out, but he's had ample opportunity. And this time it leads to a big moment. Maybe we were at least are able to get them out of the point, contest some time. They get in with about 15, 20 seconds, but you had a 15 or so point advantage if you are Breach. Nice little flurry of kills there for subliners. You get a little bit of space. It's Priest again. That's the one guy maybe to make a play, but not going to do it. Lead change now over to subliners. Yeah, everything, no, just kind of the domino effect happens. As soon as Parisa maybe just overpeaks, trying to catch a player, but here is another break attempt for Boston Breach and map control for P1 and P2. Hydra trying to get out. Take a long route all the way through. Just focus, Boston Breach. Someone has to, to realize he gets through. So you can see that's going to be number six in Priesta, trying to hunt him down. Slasher's POV for now. We hop right over to Priesta, though. Again, maybe the playmaker for the squad. He's able to get one sip, though, with an answer onto Slasher. Snoopy popping, hitting, pistol. Not going to do enough, though, as guys and Sib rally through. They're going to hop into the point again. It's Priesta just lurking, trying to play around this objective. Get the key kills, just can't quite finesse. Actually, his teammates are going to take him out in a seam, but a seam clutches up as he gets another one. Nobody in the point for now. Nine point game. Yeah, it's really just all about map control. You can see the way New York is playing this, trying to push on through, flip those spawns. Hasn't happened yet. Play clock could come in to play. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, down to three minutes. Tied up at 100 apiece. But always there is one more player getting on through. And has New York done it? Looks like a couple of players will spawn out. It's been these key one-on-ones between Priesta and Hydra. And Hydra actually spawns up. Priesta able to find the kill. And then Priesta spawns, or sorry, Hydra spawns right there in New York. They get the spawns for P2. The Priest is the priest going through it at times. Yeah. It's just, I think multiple times he's thought he's like made the play to do enough to, to make Maybe it. But that time everyone spawn else spawned out. out. Yeah. yeah, everyone else spawned out. And he's just kind of on an island. But... He's been fighting. Lead change after lead change in this one. New York now with control. What can they do behind the objective? Hydra, Sib, finding openings. No pressure early from Breach. Probably the calmest moment we've had like on an actual objective. Nice so far from subliners thus far. Yeah, I mean, already with 30 seconds left, if you are Breach, you're just trying not to lose spawns for P3 for next hill. I, I mean, this is such a good job. Finally, a full hold here for subliners. They're able to do, I think, last P3, but with those three kills from Slasher and Snoopy, it's kind of at the most opportune time for them because you'll get some of this scrap time and control rotation to next. Yeah, I was—I didn't even know they were going to get in it for a while. They kind of said they're just trying to hold Gunny up, get the kills, worry about next a little bit more, but they'll hop in and get five or so seconds. You lose Whoa. those two players, though, and that's where do things unravel. Maybe you didn't need to get the scrap time. Maybe you just worry on the rotation a wee bit more. You're going to have a pinch that's going to develop, though, because this spawn comes in behind for Snoopy. You start to collapse on this. Can the front line stay up? Yeah, Jin Slasher and a scene play their position. They're on the hill trying to finesse, but there is the trade. Now, close spawns may come in for New York, but they've done a good enough job. You needed a response there from Breach. 
but it's the subliners who are able to find that chance. They get to two kills on the players at old, and they just fly on through. There is the flip. I don't even know if it is good enough, just based on like how this game has been, like every point for Breach has been so hard earned. If you get this time and you go off, what, like 60 to 80, or has Breach got anything clean for free? Like it's all, it's been gritty. Now granted, they can turn it on its head. There were spectacular moments in map one, but it seems like it's starting an inch away from them. Yeah, right here, they need a response. You don't have a cruise missile to deal with, which will probably help you out. That was the problem last time through at P4. True, true. Skies, though, he's going to find the first blood. So uh, New York uh -oh. know this. They're going to try to take map control away. But Snoopy, through the middle of the map, is able to slow it down. Kids trying to find a long route through the water. Hey, you still have work to do, but those kills from Snoopy, a big part of why you're still in the objective. He's been tough. Battle in the water. Oh, look at him go. He's got the moves. The Steven Priest still finding kills. Trying to get the tags in. Kismet's going to drop. It's tough to hit the shots through the water. Can't quite get the win. Now you're down, what, 40 or so? You're back into the point. This is the answer you need. He said he had to respond. So far, so good. And it was mixy for a moment there. For the most part, though, you've collected all this time. You get this, you're right back within striking distance. You had to step up, and they do it. Yeah, great response there from Boston Breach. Looks like a seam could be a key playmaker here on this rotation. Sib, though, finding some spawn kills, trying to make this a much cleaner setup than last time through from P5. It was Priesta who kind of found the opening and the route, but this time, this is exactly what New York want. Look where Boston is on yeah. the map. Just both left and right of P5, completely controlled by subliners. I mean, how often we see that this year? It's just been, it's been crazy. It's been back and forth, and suddenly people start to put clamps on the hard point. But subliners who are looking to close this out with a map victory, they're 50 points away. We're hopping to a listen in with subliners. The comms are clean, the boys are vibing, and they're two points away from victory. The final kills in. It's subliners. They will finally get a major win on the board. They get it done, and the listening was clean. So no, it was. He, and I, I mean, Skies was right. He's like, we're splitting. We're splitting here. He's like, let's calm it down. Let's make sure this is a, a clean setup for P1. They had all, everything that they wanted to control, but you, you just get a much better hard point than we saw from map one from pretty much everyone. Yeah, Kiz again up to 5,000 damage, and I just think he can be a key. Obviously, a rough map one for him, but he really steps it up going forward. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a tight series at times, and then it's not. Like, the map three is not close. This ends up, you know, second half of the game pretty dominant, but, like, I just feel like I'm just going to be looking at the 1v3 for Kiz. Yeah. Like, yeah, the map two was uh, probably one Boston's going to go back and wish they wish they had a couple of those rounds. You win that, and I mean, I, the map three probably doesn't look different. I don't think it has impact on that, but at least maybe you're getting to a map, map five, five yeah. and then who knows. But that 1v3 may haunt him. Kismet makes the big play. Subliners get the victory here. Already more success than we saw at the last major. And now for Boston Breach, at least, you know, with the subtle improvements, you started in a winner's bracket, you get to drop down and continue on to keep fighting. You didn't have that, uh, that chance last time. Yeah, that's, yeah, you get uh, another match. Uh, again, just uh, more games to go back and watch. Just try to find those simple mistakes, but it just feels like, I don't know, maps three and four. Sometimes it just simply comes down to it's shooting. Yeah, it just, four was like, it was so close. It was like literally 10 lead changes. It felt like it was constant. And then once New York pulled away, they just didn't look back. And the listening was a great time. Yeah. First fantastic comms, everybody's stepping up. I mean, Hydra's moments on uh, the map three just absolutely erupted. Kidsman's 1v3. Sky's the double at the end as he's kind of holding the comms push. I mean, everyone had their moments, and this team is looking like, I mean, you had them in your final, right? When you fill out your bracket? I have them winning. Okay. 
Yeah. No, I, you're I, a believer. I, I am a believer.